what is good youtube this is your boy rj back with another video for you guys and man saturday was one hell of a day it was the first week of king of the court now if you guys don't know what king of the court is if you guys play previous 2ks bro it was pretty much a qualification round where you play multiple games back to back to back for four hours straight continuously winning to reach the top to be number one now there were top 10 prize well, i can say top 10 prizes there were prizes that was given to the first number one player in the rankings and the rest everybody else so it goes it goes one million vc a freaking galaxy opal um hidden gem uh, you get a green animation and a logo with a million VC as well. And a showdown banner. I mean, not showdown, and a king of the court banner for your my player. So at the end of the day, we were grinding for four hours straight. Now, as you guys see, Kills Amoy won it. But I just want to tell you guys in regards to my experience planning those four hours, I end up going 14 and two. Now, the biggest thing is with playing king of the court, you want to get people to quit and that is not easy especially with 2k's boundaries set on if somebody quits they can possibly ban them nobody wants to be banned so if the people are getting blown out you are pretty out of luck and you just gotta hope you don't run into stallers which we did i'm gonna talk about that in this video as well but this is my experience guys we ended up running this lineup i'm gonna show you guys here we ended up running this lineup right here taken in with westbrook t mac brian malone will i did have lucas free agent card running pg which i i mean we had a great run but i kind of regret it i should have I, I just know i regretted it but we had a great ass run and take out the, the christian latin here by the way i did place rank number seven at the end of this video you guys will see and the diamond that i end up getting for this was christian latin we did have um draymond green at the center position when we played in uh, yesterday's KOTC. So um, this was the lineup that I was running. And I'm just gonna tell you guys in regards to showing you how throughout the process of how everything went. So without further ado, so boom. This was, I lost once already to Hall of Fame Euro on my second game. So I was one and one coming out the gate and I went on just a crazy streak, bro. Um, this may have been about maybe game six, maybe game seven, seven and one where I was at the top of the leaderboards. Number one with 1,027 points, man. So we was pushing, we was ripping and running nonstop. We was, we was in, we was locked in. And just sitting there for four hours straight, your brain gets fried. Whether if, whether if you're playing somebody good, or if you're playing somebody bad, or if you're playing a bot, where, you know, whatever. Your brain gets fried of playing 2K, consistently trying to green a shot, consistently trying to stay locked in, consistently trying to blow somebody out, so that way you can keep on moving up in them boards. We were sitting at the top of the charts, man. And then the rest is history, that's all I'm gonna say. So we went from going there to, so this is me playing T-Mans right here bro now the score man chat y'all probably can't see the score let me see if i can get y'all the score real quick the score is 44 to 72. he is fouling he's consistently fouling he's consistently calling timeouts bro he hopped in the stream to ask me questions man this dude was stalling once he was losing which i hate give me that steal right there right he fouls me stalling bro and I just said, I just had the mindset. You just got to have that mindset, bro. All right, come on. Keep locked in. Now, this game was maybe around the, like, last 50-minute mark. Or, no, I'm going to say, like, an hour and 15-minute mark. So, he's stalling right here. So, I end up quitting. Just go ahead and get about to this game real quick. So, you know. Now, chat, what do you guys, do you think I shouldn't have quit? You think I should have allowed it? Do you think with me quitting, it didn't give me my points because how much I want, I blown them up by? Because you see right here, I'm third with 1457, bro. Do y'all think I should have let the game play out? Because I was thinking about that too after this, after that match. I was like, damn, maybe I shouldn't have quit because did 2K recognize that because I quit at this game to get the win that they gave me the default points? Or if I would have just let the game play it out and it would have recognized that I was up 30 something, that they would have gave me 
they would have they would have gave me the um the points on top of blowing them out by 30 plus i don't know what you guys think in the comment section below but we was we we, we hopped back right back in another match and then we ended up getting um re re up so i ended up playing t-man's before that and this was that second game i had played him and he stalled me the entire time so this was the last game to fit in it was like the last six minutes left i was able to get one more game in sadly now playing re-ups bro i'm like okay i'm feeling good going to this game confident but you, you gotta make sure like four hours straight that ain't easy bro i'm like okay i'm number three if i win this game could i make it to the top number one i'm not sure being down by like 180 some points but Reubs gave me a battle, bro. He gave me a battle and it came down to the wire. At the end of the day, we look, I was up like 12. We're gonna skip, we're gonna skip ahead of this, right? We're gonna skip ahead of this. I was up about 12, bro. This game just got out of whack, man. I'm, I tell you right now, bro. The, the big the biggest thing is is when you're playing four hours straight, non-stop, bro. Your last game become a sweat. Bro, my brain is fried. I'm ready to get off, but I, it's like trying to lock in. I should have dipped my head in some cold ice water or something. Because, bro, I'm telling you, when I tell you my brain was fried, that I don't even know how I even stayed in this game. And I knew, at the end of this game, you guys are going to see me really give up because I really made an irrational decision. All right, so we're just going to jump to the fourth quarter. Boom, here we go. I'm on four. We get a stop right there with a minute left. This is what I'm telling you, Chad. Like, my brain was fried, bro. You know what I'm saying? I could not green a shot, bro. It was bad. See, I'm coming off that, coming off, you know, you know what time it is with that play. I hit T Mac on that right side, get it up early, man. D -d -d Those shots I knock down, bro. I knock down. And watch this, watch this play right here. We got hold right here. That's a good shot. That's actually a great shot. He, that's a great shot. With ML card puts us down, puts us up by one, and. This is when momentum just struck, bro. Like, it's like, okay, I need to green a big time shot. We got 20 seconds left. So you said, I said, you know what? Get it to Malone. Watch this. Boom. Bro, like, the animation of giving him that block was insane, bro. And he comes down and go up one, dog, with 16 seconds left on the clock. This is what I mean by, like, my brain is fried. I didn't I didn't want to play no sweat match. I didn't want to have to lock in. So we run at it again. We get T-Mac open. You know what time it is. I have to green when it's clutch time. And I end up greening my shot. The shot, I missed at least four to five threes this game open, bro. Between Brian and T-Mac because my brain has been so fried. Big shout out to Rios, bro. He played an amazing game, dog. But at the same time, your boy did not want to really lock in. Like, I couldn't. Like, physically... I feel like I really mentally and physically couldn't, bro, because of my brain of sitting there for the entire process. But knowing that if I stop this, it'd be good. So we got four seconds left, right? Good defense. Pressure up. Go under the screen. Jump at that contest. He greens it. Now my mind is even trickled more, bro, because the fact that it's it's the last game. It's the last game, and I'm. I this this is I made the dumbest decision doing this, bro. I said, let me put my bench in. Put my bench in and then take him out. Let, let them play a minute. I should have never done that, bro. I should have never, 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 ever done that. But it's all right. He ends up winning this game. Um, I, I That was a bad coach decision. I, I couldn't hit shots. I couldn't green no shots, bro. My bench my bench was in there too effing long, too. I should have called a timeout. You know, I really should have called a timeout. My bench was in there too long. I left him in there <laughs> the entire freaking rest of the game yeah that that was all on me and I, I should have greened that i should have greened that being an open shot but we ended up losing this game bro and i ended up throwing in the starters the last minute man and yeah bro that's that's when i messed up on, on a lot of the situations so this is where we ended off at number seven so after that game i lost bro i was still was able to get some points got us to 15 32 at the end of the day Bro, I'm not too sure if we would've won that game. I doubt we would've probably got 300. I don't know, bro, I don't know. I really don't know. So, you know, but we could've probably been number two at least. We'd've been number two at least if we won that game. Um, but being two through 10 doesn't matter. It's about, it's about being number one, which I feel like two can need to change the rewards. I'm not too big on happy about that. Um, number one is the only person that gets all the rewards. I respect it, cool, but about the two through ten the ones that's on this board list 
Like, yeah, top 1%, cool, but we're on the board. It should, it should be something better than that. Something better than that. But, you know, big shout out to you guys. Uh, this is boy RJ, man. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment. You know, can we do it next week? I don't know. I'm not too fond on, really, bro, I'm really not too fond on thinking that we can possibly become number one with this run based on a few things that I'm not going to get into with this video, but you guys probably are tracking. I already know what's going on. So at the end of the day, you just got to keep hooping. Y'all keep hooping. Remember, push me. I keep pushing the content. It's your boy RJ. You did.